All right, and for anybody who's wondering, yes, you can use the Moano PM450 microphone with the Moano caster right here, just as we saw in the previous video. The only thing that you have to do to make that happen is you have to plug it in with the USB, put it with the container that you want it to have. And then of course, you can also plug in the 3.5 millimeter cable right there in the bottom that you can see that I've also got plugged in there. And then what we do is we plug that in the back. Rather than having an XLR, we're gonna be plugging in a 1 4th inch adapter with a 3.5 cable. That goes in right there. And as you can see, as I'm speaking, talk 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 it just pops right up in there and becomes part of the microphone interface and it's nice and easy to use so now we have the benefits of having the software with the podcast setting on there as well as the added things like voice changer direct monitor and just these wonderful added abilities so there you go it all works together cool What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Moano USB Condenser Streamer Wave Bundle Pack. That's right, this is the PM450 series microphone. It's got a really, really cool box and, and, and we're using it right here. It's got the full boom that comes with it and I can tell you right now, I've already used it for a couple of days. I'm very, very happy with this thing and I wanna show you exactly why. So let's go ahead and jump into the features and while I show you the unboxing, I will take a look at the top of the box and read off some of its main features here. Of course, it has a cardioid polar pattern, RGB lighting, and a microphone gain adjustable spot. Right here on the front, you can see I can actually spin this left and right, and it's gonna change my microphone gain right then and there. I can also hold down this button for a couple seconds, and it's gonna turn on or off the high pass filter. So let me go ahead and hold it back down right now, and we're gonna put the high pass filter back on. This microphone allows you to monitor mix and listen in while you're actually using the microphone at the same time I can hear what I sound like. That's pretty cool. The shock mount to keep it from, you know, moving and, 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 and feeling the noise every single time I move and adjust things. You're not going to hear all that, right? So the shock mounts there. Premium alloy housing, which I can say the microphone is very, very robust. I can, I can, tell that if I were to travel with it, I would feel pretty comfortable that it would withstand any normal wear and tear. Uh, at the same time, I do want to be careful with any and all of my electronic devices. Plus, it has a one-touch mute button. So if I want to mute it, I can simply just touch this button. I got it. Now you can hear me, right? Yeah, now you can hear me. You can't hear me if I just touch just touch the top. Yeah, see? Pretty cool. To adjust the microphone's light, we can simply just go over here to the side and touch the button on it and simply turn it on and off just by touching it. If we hold it down for a couple of seconds, we can turn it in between the different modes from breathing and looping and changing the individual colors. But I actually prefer to go over here to the software on the computer and do it right over here. Clicking on the lighting, I can click on open, looping, breathing, fixed. I can do whatever I want. Really nice and simple, right? Now let's check out the bottom of the microphone. We've got the USB spot and we've got the spot for the 3.5 millimeter jack for the monitor on there. So if I wanna sit there and change the audio input, I simply just turn the dial left and right, right? This is gonna make it so that I sound louder. Ooh, if I click it in, it's gonna determine how loud my headphones are, the blue, right? I turn this down and all of a sudden my actual mix in my headphones is getting quieter and quieter as I turn the blue down. If I click the button one more time, you're gonna see the mix. That purple shows you in the center. If I click it again, you're gonna see the purple in the center. If I turn it more to the left, I'm gonna hear more of the microphone. If I turn it more to the right, I'm gonna hear more of the mix and less of the microphone. So I can actually choose how much I actually wanna hear of myself 
in the headset, which is a really, really nice option, especially if you're doing an all-in-one podcast and you don't have a mixer set up, right? Okay, so let's get back to the website and the software. As we look on the website, we can see right here, this is, as we said, a hi-fi microphone where you can customize your sound with the Moano Link software, which we're just about to jump into. It has the three-in-one smart knob, which we looked over, advanced noise reduction technology, which is, you know, got the high-pass filter, as we showed. We just click the button in there for a couple seconds and it turns it on and off. Also, rugged durability with zinc alloy. I think this is the least important thing to most people. They don't plan to really get too rugged with their microphone. At the same time, it is nice that it can simply run like this and, and, and work well and, and also still be rugged if I do need to throw it around, right, and put it in a bag and, and travel with it. Uh, on top of all that, the one-click mute, mute is really actually nice and convenient, as you can now uh, the ability to turn it on and off. Uh, every once in a while, I do miss. If I like tap it on the side, it doesn't really work. You have to tap it really in the middle then it actually works. So just make sure you tap it where the button's at, not just anywhere. It's got the DSP chip. That's right, folks. DSP stands for Digital Signal Processing. Uh, it's something, again, that a lot of televisions and, and you know USB microphones will have on at the high end. Uh, it allows them to do advanced mathematics and calculations to create you know cool sounds, right? Uh, it's much more complicated than that, but that's the, the dumb version of it, right? Uh, you can use the Arena for gaming streaming or the Moana Link for podcast sound, which I'm using right now, the podcast sound in mind with uh, noise gate and that's why we're listening to it in this way uh, and if I go ahead and look down here the cardioid pickup pattern that is the main pattern uh, also if you just go into their actual software section you can see they've got the Moana link arena DGM 20 and pro studio this one right here the link is the one that I downloaded right here so here's what the software looks like and uh, as we're looking at the software I just want to tell you guys one interesting story you know on, on the daily I actually use the sure SM 7B and I've been recording this entire time with the Shure SM7B. So now I'm going to put them side by side. Uh, and when I was doing this earlier with my students, I actually was saying, hey, which microphone is better? Which one should I teach with today? Because I teach in the mornings uh, from home. And both of my students that I, I, I taught with today, both of them said this microphone, the Moano, was the better microphone. They wanted me to use this one. They said it sounded more natural and real. Uh, and so that was kind of a, a mind-blowing moment because this microphone altogether, the setup is, what, less than $200? The Shure SM. 7B is $400 by itself with a $150 cloud lifter and a $100 mixer to put it into the actual computer. I mean, goodness, we're spending almost $700 just to get this setup right here. And tell me, what do you think is the better setup? All right, so right now we're going to listen to the Shure SM7B. This is what the Shure SM7B sounds like. Here we are with the Shure SM7B. And right now, here we are with the Moano Link and the PM. 450. And let's switch one more time back over to the Shure SM7B. Here we are at the Shure SM7B. So you tell me, what do you think is the best one? And if I sang a little song woo, with the Shure SM7B, or if I sang a little song with the Moano, woo, so this microphone, although it's amazing, the Shure SM7B usually needs some kind of an interface such as the Rodecaster to go with it to really pump up the sound and give it that nice podcast quality. And just by itself, the Moano, with its built-in DSP chip and its software on the computer, tends to sound better at a much, much smaller price. Very happy to report that in a real-world scenario, this setup is actually sounding better to people on the other end than something that's much more expensive out of the box, right? Uh, and again, it's not that you can't make a Shure SM7B sound better, but you're going to have to add more equipment and more things to add to that processing, stuff that it doesn't already come with. So that's a huge advantage right here with this microphone is that built-in software. So as we're looking at it right here, you have some options. Not only do we have the lighting as we looked at already to change between these different things, the looping, the breathing, uh, the fixed lights, if we want to just make a certain specific color between any of those, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back to looping click on scene and here we can go ahead and start clicking between the different scenes. My biggest question is, do I have customization of my mic truly? Do I actually have the ability to customize the microphone? And in this case, I do. I actually do. It took me a, a few minutes to figure out exactly how to do that, but let's take a look. Uh, I do like that you can actually record in the software directly. So if I want to record something right now, I can record it in the software, puts it in a folder for me, and I can't be so happy. Okay, I'm gonna stop that 
right now and record something right now i can record it in the software puts it in a folder for me and i can't be so happy okay i'm gonna yeah that's beautiful that's just beautiful okay stop and so if i go here to original you're gonna hear the original microphone settings hey sounds different doesn't it sounds different so here's the original microphone settings here's the podcast microphone settings ah sounds a little more familiar this one's interesting because broadcast it has a little bit of a reverb, all right? You can hear that little echo in there, right? Hello and welcome to the broadcast. This is the broadcast setting. That's right. Hello and welcome to the broadcast. I'd like you to come and watch our show. That's right. This is the broadcast setting. Okay. Going to the podcast from the broadcast. Broadcast and podcast. Podcast setting. So this one's working well, but we still have a little bit of background noise, right? Check out the sing mode. Sing, sing, sing. interesting um so this is kind of a very we're, we're in the music city hall right here hello welcome thank you for being here with us we're gonna start sing okay game 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 i'm playing a game oh ah but it doesn't have that podcast sound that the podcast has like right see yeah this one's a little bit different this one sounds like i'm more in your space so the last question becomes how do we customize these settings even further let me show you. If you want to customize and get more settings, you just double click the scene that you are in, that you enjoy, that you like, and you click on new scene. And all right, this one cannot be empty. We're going to put podcast number two. Moving on to the fun stuff. That's right. This is where it can get a little complex. And if you're not super into sound stuff, don't worry. This is where you have to just practice and play with the things until you get the best sound that suits you for your environment the most, right? We have the equalizer right here with the high pass filter. This is something, as it says, it allows you to basically get roll offs. The audio below this target will eliminate a certain frequency. What this means is that if you have like an air conditioner or fans in the room or extra little noise, this can sometimes help make your audio sound a little better by having it on and then testing which frequency is going to be the best one for your situation. So if I have it on low or if I have it on a little higher or a little higher or a little higher, right? So you have to just test your room and see what sounds the best in your area. If I bring up my lows, right, to a high sound, you're going to hear me much much closer if I put it away it's gonna sound a little more natural but right down here in the middle is kind of the best for this podcasty sound if I take my mid-range and I get it real high it's gonna sound a little more tinny a little more like I'm in a can and if I bring it down low it's gonna sound more bassy because we're missing my mids though we want to put the mids back in there and of course the highs the highs I keep high right as opposed to keeping the highs low which makes it sound more like I'm farther away and I want to sound like I'm actually not being muffled whatsoever so I keep the highs a little high again we're gonna go into the actual settings these little three dots on the right side right here are going to open up more settings for us in the voice EQ. We can go in here and change the width from wide to narrow. We can change the bandwidth of these different things just like we were doing before, but the frequencies, we can actually get in here and change the individual frequencies, the Q factor. Uh, these again are all things for the big audio nerds out there that really, really want to jump in and, and fine tune their setups. For the average person, you're probably not going to play with these settings. One other area over here is the signal selection. In here we have the gate section, we have reverb, de uh, Let's go ahead and add these. For podcast number two, I want there to be a gate. I don't want you to hear background noise when I'm doing my podcast, right? So let's get rid of this background noise possibility by turning the gate on. One of the nicest things they did with their software was put these little question marks in here. So if you're unsure of what these things do, you can simply just read each of these little descriptions and they're gonna give you a nice idea of what you're messing with. And the best thing for me in, in all my life of playing with audio or video technology is, is just look or listen, right? Take a, a moment to click the button and see what happens. And then when it comes to reverb, if we really want to add that nice big echo chamber sound, let's do it. Let's add the reverb sound in there. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to tell you something and try not to annoy you 
too much. So, all right, all right, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, had a lot of fun taking a look at this microphone and the simple fact that it's beating out my Shure SM7B setup with my students is an eye-opener for me and a revelation. You do not have to spend a whole lot of money to get that studio quality sound, especially if you're going to be using something like this. The one thing I noticed is that you do have to keep the gain down if you do want to raise your voice or use it in a very loud way. This is a condenser microphone after all, and because of it, it is going to be more sensitive. You do not need to speak to it nearly as close or as loudly as you would with a Shure SM7B. Again, we're gonna go ahead and test this microphone. If I get really close to this microphone, you can actually hear it sounds just fine even still. Whereas if I get really close to this microphone, it sounds a little bit weird. It sounds better if I talk from this distance to this microphone and it sounds better if I get this close to this microphone, right? So dynamic microphone, condenser microphone, you're gonna treat them a little bit differently, but at the end of the day, what are you trying to use this for? What's your purpose? All right, Moano, good job, good products. I uh, look forward to making some more videos if I see some more cool stuff. So until then, have a good day. See you guys. You can get for podcast and streaming or a vocal spree with the MO mic. We're making history. It's Mike's a perfect fit.